So hello and welcome to this video on the Cordham YouTube channel. Today we're out with the 11 foot phase one feeder rod and we're fishing for skimmer bream and roach. Just cast out and the feeder's gone round with what feels like a skimmer or a roach and that's the beauty of venues like this. You never really know when that feeder goes round what's on the end. In today's video, we're going to be covering a few hints and tips on you know setting up your feeder rig for your fishing a few tips on the baits i use and we've started it off with a nice bronze bream that takes me right back to when i was a kid fishing with phase one so we'll get this fish in we'll take a look and then we'll take a look at the setup So what a lovely way to start the video, a bite on the first cast. During this video, what we're gonna do is take a look at the simple feeder rig to get you up and running, to get out there and get a few bites. But the starts to a session go, a nice start. Let's get this lovely bream straight back. So the session getting off to a good start let's say by clipping up on the reel the clip on the reel that all the phase one reels come with if you cast straight in a line it'll go the same distance every time and what that means is you can get the accuracy that you need with feeder fishing and you know that that bait is landed in the same spot every single time it looks like we've got a nice roach A lovely bend in the road and a roach on the other end. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a really simple feeder rig to get you up and running that's very versatile. The first thing I've done is threaded a mega grip stop onto the line, as you can see there. Push that out the way. I've then threaded one of the feeder beads onto my main line as well, like that. I've then threaded one of the feed the beads onto the line there like that and what I'm going to do now is just create a loop so as you can see there it's held within the loop. I'm going to tie a couple of overhand loops in the end of the line where we're going to tie a hook link. That's going to help kick the line away from the feeder. You can see there that feeder bead can move quite a bit in that running loop. When we pull the mega grip down, it can reduce the size of that loop so you can get if you're fishing for bream where you want them to take the worm really slowly, you can make that loop bigger. But if you're fishing like we are for roach today and bream or maggot, you can pull it right down and you get the bolt effect. And you can see there how it kicks away from the feeder. A nice simple feeder rig that's versatile and only using two components. 
but it'll be the rig that we're using today. So the pattern of hook that we're going to be using today is the Corum Grappler in size 14. These are a hook that I use a lot in my barbel fishing when we're fishing on the River Severn for those barbel when I'm using small hook baits, small pellets and it's a hook that I've really got confidence in. I know this pattern if we come across some bonus fish today like the bream that it's got the backbone and the strongness of a hook to get them in. It's a nice pattern when you're relying on the bolt effect of the rig to set the hook. It's a hook and a pattern that I've got a lot of confidence in and an excellent pattern for this style of fishing. So one top tip that I've got for when we're fishing the feeder with ground bait is when you first arrive at your peg, mix the ground bait straight away. By using the ground bait riddle and ground bait bowl from Cordham, you can mix that ground bait straight away Running that ground bait through the riddle removes all those big lumps that are going to overfeed the fish, leaves you with a nice smooth mix. So what it means is when you arrive at your peg, mix the ground bait, by the time you set up your rod, you'll be good to go. And that's my top tip for something to do when you're ground bait fishing with the phase one rods. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on the Cordum Phase 1 rods. As you can see on the screen, we've had plenty of bites from those roach and skimmers and had three of those lovely bronze bream. I hope you've enjoyed all the hints and tips along the way and they help you out in your fishing. Tight lines and thank you very much for watching.